Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Bring on the confetti, bring on the air horns, because we have, it's a tradition around here now, when we cover a new foundation. And today we are going to look at the long-awaited Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I have two shades. You know what that means. I'm gonna put you to work and ask which shade you prefer. Yes, I'm already wearing two different shades right now. So you are going to have to weigh in, but I wanna get all the facts and talk about this. Um, if you are new to this channel, the reason I had confetti and party horns is because we started that in January back uh, doing something I called Foundation Month. Oh, I was so naive. I didn't realize that it would continue Continue. And now we are well over half of the year and we still have foundations coming out. Three foundation reviews this week alone for me and I actually have more coming up next week. Ah, it's, it's crazy around here with these foundations, but this is a long awaited one. I actually have, I have some interesting thoughts on this. Um, plus, like I said, since you're here, you know I'm putting you to work. Uh, with your opinions here. Okay, so the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation is $58. Um, the Dior was $60 and that put a lot of you off. Look, Hourglass is always expensive. You know, I think you say the name Hourglass and they charge you $2. So we know it's going to be expensive already. It comes in 32 shades. Um, and I picked up I picked up two shades and we're going to talk about it in the demo and I'm going to take it outside into the sunshine for you guys to see. I picked up, I'm a light medium neutral, like just across the board. So when I go to pick a foundation and I'm kind of doing it blindly online, I just look for the one that's labeled light medium neutral. Well, Hourglass was a little tricky. They named a lot of their foundations with the same description. Yeah, there were pictures of models. Does that help anyone? Sometimes I use them too, I, you know, any port in a storm, uh, the, the pictures of the models, but they had two described as light, medium, neutral, so I got them both. 6.5 is described as a light, medium, neutral, and 7.5 is described as a light, medium, neutral. Now, thanks for the help, Hourglass. So I got both, and I am going to request your help because sometimes I keep two and mix them. You guys, I can't afford to keep doing that. I really need to return one. Um, so definitely weigh in as we go. You'll see the demo, and I'll take it outside for you to see. So this foundation boasts that it is weightless, Buildable medium coverage, okay, that it is light diffusing with 16 hours of wear. Uh, that always makes me laugh. When a company says 12 hours, I kind of get it. When they say 24 hours, okay, I get it. You last all day. 16 hours, that's kind of funny. Do they have like a stopwatch? 15 hours and 45 minutes. 15 hours and 50 minutes. I mean, you know, they like say, oh, her nose, the redness around her nose is showing. 16 hours, Joe, write it down. I mean, I don't know, but. It's got 16 hours of wear and it has blurring spheres. Blurring spheres. I don't know. We'll have to talk about that. I kind of, I'll, I'll give you a hint. I kind of, uh, what's the expression? I damn this foundation with faint praise, right? So, you know that expression. Um, it's a nice foundation. You know what I mean? Like, okay, so I've got a lot to say about this foundation. I want to go to the demo and I want to take it outside too. And I need you guys to weigh in on, we got a lot to do, so stay right there. I worry that we might come to call this next portion of the video, hello yellow. Yeah, I did a little swatch on my face before sitting down here and I'm a little, a little yellow especially for neutral. But let's just see, shall we? I've got a completely clean face, as you can see here. Hair, trying to get my hair out the way. And I've got two totally clean fusion brushes by the lovely Sonia G. And we've got the 6.5 for the side and the 7.5 for this side. I, I, I was gonna predict which one will like better, but I'm just not because I'm, I'm never right. Okay, so let's see. Here we go. I'm gonna put this onto this part of my hand. Here is the 6.5. I did that in a little bit of a strange way, but that's okay. Okay, so this is the 6.5, which I believe is a bit yellow. But let's see what we think, because I could be wrong. And I am going to take this out. Look, look at this yellow. I am going to take this outside in the sun. I mean, the shirt I have on is a little yellow, but I was wearing actually a black t-shirt. I change. I don't film in what I'm wearing. I just try to film in something neutral. Um, so it, it looked this yellow with a black shirt on too, guys. Um, <laughs> it's not the shirt. Okay, so 
you know, but let's see what happens with makeup over it, etc., etc. Okay. It's a little yellow, is it not a little yellow? Okay, so there we go, 6.5 and nothing. 6.5 and nothing. Okay, so here was the prediction that I said I wasn't gonna do earlier, but I will now. I don't think the 7.5 is as yellow on my face. Remember, both here described as a light, medium, neutral shade. That's the only description. And a picture of models that didn't really help. Okay, so we've got our clean Sony G brush, and I'm gonna take this, this looks a little bit pinker, and this is the 7.5, I just got it in my eyebrow, so pretend you didn't see that, please. And let's put it on. We also gotta wear test this baby and just see what we think in general. Um, I have a little redness under my eyes. Just as a little side note, you guys, I've been using uh, for about two months now the new Huda Wishful, the under eye um, cream, and my eye, under eyes are starting to itch. So I think I have developed a little bit of an allergy to that eye cream. Uh, so that's just a little side note. We'll talk about that maybe more in another video. Okay. All right. Same amount. Oh, I can tell you which one. I know what you guys are going to say. So 6.5, light, medium, neutral. 7.5, light, medium, neutral. What do you think? And we haven't even done it. Um, you know what I'll do? I'll, I'll do a makeup look with no bronzer and then a makeup look with bronzer. So I'll kind of do it twice. But first, let's step outside into the hot California sunshine. Take a look at it outside. I will point to the side of my face that has the 6.5 on it so you can tell the difference and you don't get disoriented. I'm pointing to the side with the 6.5 on my face. Uh, let me come back now having done everything to my face but bronzer, then I'll add bronzer on again. So stay right there. Halfway through applying makeup, just wanted to show you a little bit of blush and a little bit of highlighter. Brows are now done, no bronzer. So now you are seeing 6.5 and 7.5, no bronzer. When I come back, I will have bronzer on. But I just wanted to have, you know, comparison. Okay, back with the whole look. And I will wear this again uh, throughout the week and do maybe a um, cooler toned makeup look. That will either make it more or less yellow. My prediction is that you guys are gonna like this side, the 7.5 side, uh, more than the 6.5. But you guys gotta tell me, like I said, you know I'm putting you to work here, so, you know. Um, but let's talk about the wearability. So it has been five hours. I like to do longer tests, but uh, you know, lately this week has been crazy. So I've been doing about five, six hours on these uh, foundations. We've done three this week. It feels like January all over again. And um, we had so many releases. Um, really wears quite nicely. Very lightweight as it promises. Um, I do not find that, I, I, it wore off a little bit around the nose, um, more than say the Lancome that I reviewed this week. Um, very pretty though, very weightless, really truly feels like I'm wearing nothing. I expect that from a foundation though these days. They all have the same technology available to them. Do I feel that this has blurring spheres? No, I, I actually see some um, pores on my skin more than I have with other foundations. I think it's a very pretty foundation. I think if you have textured skin, you're not gonna like it. I know, but it has blurring spheres and light diffusing power. Um, yeah, I mean, and, and very comfy. And I think a very pretty polished look. I'm not seeing the light glow. I think it's, on me, it's very matte, but so many foundations are. You know, that Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation made some people look like an oil slick. And on me, it wasn't even glowing, so. I don't know if my word can be taken for that. And I will try it with some other primers and such underneath and play around with it a little bit. I do know that the shades as threatened with Hourglass are, go a little yellow, although the 7.5 doesn't. I think it wears very well. Um, I'm sure it would hold up for the 16 hours, but the five or six I touched up my nose uh, once about two hours ago. And when I really examine my face, I do see some pores um, that I'm not loving. You know, here's the thing, you guys. These foundations that we've all been looking at are all so good. Like I said, the same technology is available to these companies. You know, they're all so good. So I have got to nitpick. Do I think this is a good foundation? Yes. 
Do I think it is the best of the three that I reviewed this week? No, I think the Lancome is better. Um, the Dior is, is a powder foundation, so, you know, I'll, I'll do an, a separate thing for powders because you either love those or you don't. Do I love this foundation? Like, get this, get this, get this, like I said about NARS or Chanel. No. It, it's a perfectly lovely, perfectly wearable, perfectly comfortable foundation. It is perfectly good, which is kind of damning it with faint praise. I think this is very pretty. And you're like, and, and, exactly. I don't know. Let me continue to play with it. Plus, you guys are getting it now. We'll play with it. Like I always say, we're a community. So let me know below what you think. Did you try it for the full 16? I'll need to do that. I really will. And I need to just kind of look at it with a primer underneath it and look at it with uh, some different textures and stuff on top. Um, and let's see. So this conversation is kind of to be continued, you know. But start it in the comments and let me know your thoughts um, on my color choice, 6.5, 7.5. And what you found if you've been playing with it, I, I think some of my pores are showing more than with others. I, I don't really have that much of enlarged pores and I'm seeing them on my cheek, but I'm not seeing it sink into fine lines or anything. I mean, so that's good. Uh, but this is a conversation that needs to continue. And I'll continue it with you guys in comments as well as the days go on and I play with it, okay? So let's do that together. I, I got to put you to work though. Weigh in on the shade choice. Let me know what you found at home. Let me know what your thoughts are. And did you try that Lancome or the Dior that we've also reviewed this week? Go back and check out those videos if you missed them. Give me my comments below so we can have a whole dialogue or conversation among us all. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'm sure hoping that you did. And if you haven't already done so, my goodness! please subscribe to my channel. I am slowly creeping up to 10,000 subscribers and this face with two different shades of foundations <laughs> needs your help. So definitely subscribe so that I can see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.